so much better. I what, mean, the cushions? Cushions look so much better. Well, sit down. Oh, yeah, you got it. Sit down, you give it a be, shot, give it a shot. They look cleaner, too. Well, Mom cleaned them. Wow. All right, sit down, sit down. Sit down. I mean, my buns are, all right, ready? All right. <laughs> really though, what do you think? What do I think? Well, before I was sitting on plywood, so this- No, it wasn't that bad. No, I was actually sitting on plywood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just would like to say, you guys, you guys ordered the foam mats, and then you didn't install them, and you took away the cushions. This all started when we visited Ronnie in Mount Rainier, and he told us that he had a seat cushion upgrade. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you replaced the foam here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are replaced. The bottoms. The backs are not. I can't do anything with the backs. These are the bottoms. Oh, no, that solid. is better. Yeah, they're solid. They're solid. Sit down. So this is tushy soft. Oh, well, it's, it's firm. Exactly. So that you don't, you don't just sink. Yeah, you don't sink down and sit on the plywood. Yes, that's it's where we stuff. are at this point. Yeah, so I emailed them and I said, hey, where did you get those cushions? And I'll provide the link for you. I think we paid $270. We have, we have, a really large dinette and a, and a big bench. If you had just a dinette, it'd be way less. But I think we paid 270 for this foam. And then uh, we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby, because I forgot to order it online, and we're gonna get the batting that covers it. And that, that'll just kind of like fill in some crevices and kind of take the, the corners off here. But we can probably cut this with um, like an electric shear, Trish. Oh no, all we need is a really nice um, knife. Charlie, are you Why gonna help? Charlie. So there's a little bit of cut there but that's okay oh well, I was just testing the blade oh okay well I had to make sure it cut or I'd have to go get um yeah, I'd have so. to go get electric shears yes so um <clears throat> I think it's pretty funny you either get a expo marker or gold or <laughs> silver at our house <laughs> this is so Satisfying. Is it? And if you're wondering what it's like to live in your backyard in a, a dirt pile uh, with a dog that likes to roll around in the dirt, it's it's terrible. <laughs> but um, we do have the end in mind. And it will be, it will be great. And we've we've done this before. And although there, we're we're currently in a dip, the great thing about a dip is that it does come out the other end, and it will be coming out soon. And um, we'll give you an update on the bungalow and everything going on. Actually, the fall goes well. The, we've got drywall in there, and the painters should be showing up today. I say should be because there's so much that feels out of control. But we're going to talk about that. All right, back to cutting foam. So yeah. I washed all the covers yeah. in a tub of Tide. Mm -hmm. And um, just a warning, if you do use a soap, make sure that it's totally out because it will collect the dirt that you bring in. Mm. Do you need me to take my shirt off? You use my abs for the for the, Please. for the the wash I washboard part? But they're still wet because we live in Florida. Yes. So anyway, but the weather is stunning, absolutely beautiful. And um, now I'm gonna get started on part two, which is glue. Um, spray glue and batting so and I think that um, you can get it a lot cheaper we'll find it online like put we'll put an Amazon link because I went to Michael's and I was like you want that for batting so anyway um, we'll find it for you on the cheap but still good and um, anyway that's it okay Very so good. tomorrow I'll be able to find seven pairs of scissors but today <laughs> <laughs> all I have are my kitchen shears and some, you know, medical Surgical shoes. gauze. So maybe this will work. Okay. But anyway, I'm gonna get to cutting. What I like about recording this project is no matter which angle I'm getting, I always have a foam cushion to sit on. <laughs> Super nice. Super nice. Okay, I'll come back to that. What I'm gonna do is go here and I'm gonna cut two. Like lines on the pleats? Yeah, two spots. One. Two. 
That looks really well done. Nice, nice cuts, Doctor. Thank you. Now I'm going to trim up the excess. Uh huh. And um, I think we got our first one ready. But I can't stuff them in yet because I got to wait for those to dry. So I'll just work on all the other ones. Okay. washed they're sun dried I ended up hand washing them which worked out really nicely here we go yeah this looks okay. good I think it's cleaner so it's a lot cleaner just tied in a bucket tied inside of a bucket baby it's making me so nervous really is it not working <laughs> it is it will it will it's just making me nervous okay Okay, now let's put the stuffing down here. Oh, the, the batting. batting. The batting. I call insulation in the house stuffing too. So. Okay, that That's looks good. Term. That looks good. Oh, look it. Yeah. That's nice. It's not all pushed down anymore. No. Okay. We're getting somewhere now. All right. So that's the inside. Yep. Let's and then you're gonna zip that up. Zip that puppy up. Another big one. Wow, I'm feeling very confident. I mean, I should do all of them before I get super excited. Nice. Check that out. Okay, so four inches fit. Okay. Let's go this direction. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Big difference. Um, it's night and that's night and day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. Why are you laughing? You just seem like, um, oh, would you look at that? I'm needing to do the edge ones because that's where it's at. While I'm sitting here, I just want to talk about this table real quick. Um, this is for everybody, especially Airstreamers. Um, a lot of people have written in and they've noticed that we have a smaller table. And that was this is by design because the, the OEM table, the table that comes with the Airstream, is like this really big table. And it's actually the table is designed to put down so that you can rearrange these cushions to make this into kind of a bed. And the problem is the table is just so big that we end up not scooting around it. And then where I'm sitting right now becomes like storage of things. And then once you store one thing, you store everything else. And so uh, we had this cut down and um, I'm going to put the dimensions right up here on the screen because I don't know them right off the hand, but a lot of people write in and they say, what are the dimensions? Which I think is a great question. So we cut the original table down and then Woodlands Airstream actually took the metal trim right here, the same metal trim that's on the countertop, and they wrapped it in the trim, which I thought was kind of nice. But after we talk about these cushions, I actually have two more things. One specifically that I, I, I is probably the, 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 the least expensive and the most exciting little tiny mod I have found in an RV since we started RVing. I cannot wait to share with you, really. It, I'm not even building it up too much. It's worth the wait. Rounded corners, pretty nice touch. We didn't do the backs. We didn't do the backs, but they don't need to be done. Yeah, we didn't think it was really necessary. That would be a lot of work and a little payoff. Maybe these guys. Maybe. Okay, so this is the first uh, end one where we sit more often. Still not where we sit the most. You want to sit down? No, I want you to sit down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. It's fabulous. I mean, it's firm in a good way. It's it's firm where you're like, oh, where you it actually promotes like decent posture. Yes. But ah, it's just so great not to just just go all the way down. Yes. That was that little crease right there, that was my contribution. That's my contribution. That's when I helped. <laughs> right there, that's when I helped. 
Okay, I just wanna take a minute and share with you where I got everything, let you know that this was not sponsored. Uh, foam Factory just happens to be where I bought the foam. It's a four inch foam. It's the Lux High Quality Foam. And it's $61.99, so $62 for a third sheet, which is 82 inches long by 24. Pretty simple. I just went around with a tape measure and I measured the width of all the, the cushions and I figured out how many cushions I could get over 82 inches. Now the bench over there, unfortunately, is wider than 24 inches, so I had to get a half sheet. That is $92 for the sheet. So that's where our price went up when we were just under 300 bucks. But if you had like a standard dinette, like a four person dinette in our in our um, previous rigs, I think you could probably get away with uh, just one or two sheets, which I think it's pretty good value for like comfort. I'm loving the upgrade. The batting Trish got at um, Michael's, but she said she paid a little, uh, this is kind of expensive. So we found it on Amazon a little bit cheaper, but this is classic loft, which I think is a little bit more dense than the low loft batting that we found and put on Amazon. Um, anyway, on Amazon, we added this to our favorite RV items. So if you go in there, that's where you're going to find like tiny hands and some of the stuff that we really like, uh, including this. Now, speaking of stuff we really like, I got to share with you probably my favorite upgrade to date. And I asked Trish to hold the camera. Can you record my big upgrade here? You want to do it right now? Right now. Okay. I don't know how many of you have to wake up in the middle of the night and and use the lavatory, but let me tell you something. The latrine. The latrine. <laughs> <laughs> on occasion, that's happened to me. And when that happens and I come in here and I turn the light on, I am absolutely blinded. But that's actually not why I got this upgrade that I'm about to share with you. The reason I got the upgrade is sometimes Caleb stays up a bit later than we do. And when he goes to the bathroom, he turns the light on. Hold on, stay there. He turns this light on, which does not have a dimmer. And this right here, aluminum, illuminates all the way on the ceiling and goes right into my eyes. And I'm like, Caleb, what are you doing? So, like, why are you up, right? Okay, I figured there had to be a better solution. There had to be something better. So I went to Amazon and I read all the reviews. I did a tremendous amount of research and I found this nightlight that's a square that I can dim and is motion censored and is like $12.95. And it came with two, I believe. Okay, so is the light off? It's light is off. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, watch, okay, see, look. Okay. Light's not on, okay, uh -huh. watch, watch, uh -huh. watch, 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 okay, wait. Oh, it's not dark enough, come oh. here, come here, come oh. here. Okay, okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at here. Okay. Are you in, are you in? I'm in. Okay, I'm gonna shut the door, I'm gonna shut the door. You see that? Oh, now watch. Why now watch. Are the lights on in there? Okay. Okay, look. Look at this. See this? Ah! Caleb, stop it. <laughs> stop it, Caleb. All right, look. So look, 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 look. I can I turn it down. Started. I can turn it way up. Okay? Caleb, I'm trying to go to sleep. I can turn it up pretty bright. It, surprisingly, this is actually too bright in the middle of the night, so I usually keep it about halfway down. And then after about 30 seconds, it turns off, and you just go like this, it turns back on. All right, there's one more thing I want to share with you. Not quite as revolutionary as a nightlight, but still pretty good. Regarding the entertainment within your RV, Airstream has a HDMI splitter. And so the HDMI splitter, there's three TVs among 30 feet. I think that's a bit excessive, but whatever. So there's a, there's three TVs and you can split the HDMI cable. So I guess you can watch all of the same program at the same time. This is not a function that we use. The CD player, believe it or not, not a function that we use. The DVD player, <laughs> shockingly, not a function that we use. And so what happens with, the, with this HDMI splitter is the HDMI cable comes through here it goes up through the aluminum over here. Come around here, Trish. Okay. Hang on. It comes around here and through this wall and into the back of the TV. Well, it, at some point, the HDMI cable broke. And so we couldn't string new HDMI cable up through the top of the RV. And so we ended up getting what, uh, like an HDMI um, Wi Fi receiver. And that was kind of a pain. And I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but I thought, why don't we just get a smart TV? Because at the cabin, we had to replace our TVs. And when we did that, because we had a, we had a power surge, we ended up putting the cabin on a, um, on, a, on a total surge protection system, which was better. So I said, well, and so when I got the new TVs at the cabin, 
and I turned on the new TV, it had these QR codes where you can like immediately log into Netflix and immediately log into all, Amazon Prime, all the stuff that you use. And it was so easy and the remote control was easier. It was easier to find the programs you watch. It was easier to watch YouTube on your channel. And it's a smart TV. And the smart TV connects to your Wi-Fi router. And I'm like, why are we not doing this? So I went, and I went to Best Buy and I found this Samsung TV that's super thin. It's 32 inch and really thin and it's a smart TV and all I had to do is plug it into the wall. And then I just connected it to our Wi-Fi router and then boom, I, I can't turn it on at this moment because I've lost the remote. <laughs> but, but it's, I mean, it's here somewhere. It's like falling under the bed, we can't find it. And we were kind of thinking about watching a movie tonight, but the problem with these new TVs is if, if you lose the remote, <laughs> it's game over. Okay, so this is like our wall of fun. <laughs> Whenever we get a poster or whatever, we put it up here. Last season we did US National Parks. We had a whole scratch off thing. It was a lot of fun. But now the summer to remember list came in. I'm super pumped about it. Haven't opened it up. We have this free for anybody who wants to download it. And you just send it in to like Walmart or Costco, wherever you get um, your posters printed. Walmart's was cheapest, so that's where I went. And they delivered it. So anyway, let's You can see. get this at keeperdaydream.com oh. slash summer23. Yes, and we'll put a link down below too. And oh, it's, and it's available nicely. in eight and a half by 11 and also 16 by 20. So this is a 16 by 20 super standard size, poster size. I, I love having all the props right behind me. <laughs> this is good, I love it. Okay, so anyway, but I thought maybe we could do something new this year, Mark. Okay. Because what we normally come up with all of our ideas and it's super fun. Mm -hmm. But this year, what I'd really love to do is to look at the hashtag Summer to Remember when people write their list and they tag us. I would love to go take some ideas from other people's posters. I love and it. then like, you know, shout out and tell them, hey, we're doing that. So I'm gonna hang this up. And then I was thinking that I could get some cool ideas from the community. So, so we're gonna get our list from only from other people's lists. Yeah. That's a good Although, idea. Although I am gonna be putting Ragbri in here. So it oh might not gosh. be on somebody else's list. Okay, that's so, true. So anyway, so anyway, but I am gonna I'm gonna do that. But um, anyway, if you don't know what summer to remember is, it's something that we do every summer because making memories is super important. It might seem silly or frivolous or you know, how how important is it to like go on a picnic. It's super important because these are your memories. And when you look back, you go, oh, I made time, I carved time to do that with my family or my friends or I met up around the country and these are the treasures you'll have forever. So that's why we love doing it with the community. I think we have like one more week left with the shirt, maybe less than that, um, if you wanna snag one of those online. But definitely, definitely get your poster, start plotting out what you wanna do. I have chills on my legs because so many fun things happen every summer and tag us and then I'm going to um, I'm going to poke around and find some good mm -hmm. ideas. I'm going to put it on our poster. So okay. anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for making Palos with us. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Bye for now. Charlie, don't don't put holes in it, Charlie. Okay, bring it to me. Come here. Come on. Come on.